Hello everyone, I'm President Ross. And I'm Bags. And we are going to do an election map to see who as of right now would win the 2024 election between Donald Trump and Koala Harris. Alright, when we go to the far left of the election map, we have Washington is blue at the top left. Oregon, blue for Harris. Blue California for Kamala Harris. Blue is Kamala, red is Donald Trump. Now we're going to go up to red. And for Idaho, right next to the top left, is red for Trump. And Nevada is blue for Harris. And when we go to Arizona, at the very bottom, it is blue for Harris. And then Utah, right above Arizona, is red for Donald Trump. Montana, at the very top, big area, is red for Trump. Wyoming, underneath it, is red for Trump. Colorado is blue for Kamala Harris. New Mexico, underneath it, is blue for Harris. North Dakota, at the very top, is red for Trump. South Dakota is red for Donald Trump. Nebraska is possibly red for Donald Trump, according to polls. Kansas, underneath it, is red for Trump by a slim margin. Oklahoma is red for Trump. Texas is red for Trump. Very bottom. Up top next to that is blue. Minnesota, don't you know, is blue for Koala Harris. And then go back to red because Iowa is red for Trump. Missouri underneath it is red for Trump. Arkansas underneath it is red for Trump by a slim margin. Louisiana is red for Trump by a slim margin. And go up top to blue because Wisconsin as of now is blue for Harris. Illinois is blue for Harris. And then we're going to go to red because we have Indiana is red for Trump by a large margin. Ohio is red for Trump by a large margin. Kentucky is red for Trump. Tennessee is red for Trump. Mississippi to the left is red for Trump. Alabama, sweet home Alabama, is red for Trump. Now we're going up to blue, and right above Indiana, Michigan is so far, because of Gretchen Shipmer, blue for Kamala Harris. Now we are going to go back to the red, and this is where it's going to get really, really tight in the race. Obviously, Florida, at the very bottom right, is red for Trump. Georgia, as of now, is blue for Koala Harris, right above Florida. Now, we also have Hawaii, the tiny islands off the inner, yeah, to the right, right there. Blue for Harris, no shocker there. And we will go to red for South Carolina. Shockingly is red, and North Carolina by a slim margin is red for Trump. And West Virginia is red for Trump. For blue, we're going to go for blue. For Virginia, as of now, it is blue. Pennsylvania is looking to be almost dark blue, but there's also a two-point difference. So we're just going to call it blue for now for Kamala. And the little states connecting all these little ones right here. you got Maryland. Delaware and New Jersey are blue for Kamala. And we also have Rhode Island, which is tiny, tiny, and Connecticut up above. Tiny, tiny are blue for Kamala. And then Rhode Island, really, really tiny. And basically all there, the ones that are white that are left, are all blue for Koala Harris. You got Maine, you've got New York, you've got New Hampshire, you've got Massachusetts, 
Rhode Island, New Jersey, Delaware, Vermont are all blue for Harris. So, this leaves a very, very close race. And Alaska, last of all, is red for Trump. A very slim race indeed. Trump would need to win multiple of the battleground states, including Michigan, in order to win the race. Who do you think is going to win, baby? Trump. I'm President Ross. And I'm Bags. And we are... Out. Electorally voted. <laughs>